Ed McCauley, a true basketball pioneer, is a name etched in the annals of the National Basketball Association. Born on March 22, 1928, in St. Louis, Missouri, Ed McCauley displayed his basketball prowess early on. He played college basketball for St. Louis University, earning All-American honors and leading his team to the NIT championship in 1948. McCauley entered the NBA in 1949 when he was selected as the first overall pick in the draft by the St. Louis Bombers. Over his illustrious career, he played for the St. Louis Bombers, Boston Celtics, and St. Louis Hawks. Ed McCauley was a seven-time NBA All-Star, showcasing his consistency and excellence on the court. He was known for his versatility, with the ability to score, rebound, and distribute the ball effectively. McCauley was named to the All-NBA First Team four times during his career. In 1957, Ed McCauley achieved the pinnacle of success by winning an NBA championship with the Boston Celtics. His contributions to the team's success were invaluable. In 1960, he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, cementing his legacy as one of the game's greats. McCauley's impact extended beyond the basketball court. He was known for his sportsmanship and commitment to the community. After retiring from playing, he transitioned into a successful career as a color commentator and served as the athletic director at St. Louis University. Ed McCauley's legacy lives on in the hearts of basketball fans and players. His skill, leadership, and dedication to the game set a high standard for future generations. He remains an inspiration to aspiring athletes and serves as a testament to the enduring power of basketball. His career stats are points, 11,234 points per game, 17.5 rebounds, 6,672 assists, 2,072 seven-time NBA All-Star four-time All-NBA first-team selection NBA champion with the Boston Celtics, 1957 inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1960. Ed McCauley's impact on the NBA is undeniable, and his contributions to the game will be remembered for generations to come.